Skip Aylesworth, one stock you own in the Hennessy Gas Utility Fund is Atmos Energy. This is up around 10% so far this year. Why is it doing so well? Once again, this is a utility, not an MLP. Correct. And uh, I'd say this is your bread and butter. I'm the local gas man. So I connect uh, and provide natural gas to the house for heating and cooling. And I do it in eight or nine states uh, from Texas up through the Midwest. And that's all I do. So it's a fairly boring business, uh, but it's straightforward and has been a, a good investment in this time. No commodity exposure to oil at all. And you also own one gas in the portfolio. That's up 15%. Uh, year to date. Talk about how they make their money because once again it's in the natural gas business that said it's not getting killed like other parts of the energy Correct. Uh, specter. Again this uh, back to I'm the local gas man in one gas's case not as big as Atmos as a company but great locations at Austin, Texas, El Paso, Tulsa, Oklahoma. These are all economies that are growing, new housing starts. So I make money two ways. I connect to new houses, uh, increased earnings, and I spend my capital on improving the system, investing in putting in, replacing old cast iron pipe with the new pipe, and I get a nice return from the uh, rating agencies for that. So uh, again, pretty straightforward, vanilla. Uh, I do not, I don't transport oil. I don't do anything with oil, so it's straightforward. You also own MG Energy. This one's up in Wisconsin, and they're also big in electric. Can you talk about well, them? Well, that's, a, that's a, a, what you'd call a combination utility. So I produce electricity, and I provide natural gas. Uh, and that's all about the connection to the house. So in southern Wisconsin, uh, I think they're based in Madison, uh, you get your electricity and your natural gas from uh, MGE. And so, and that's what they do, that's all they do, no oil exposure, and uh, it's, again, straightforward. All right, and then finally, Laclede. Now, this is out in St. Louis, pays around a 3% yield, so it's a pretty good yield. Yes. Well, in today's environment, when you even see negative yields overseas, 2.5%, uh, 3% dividend yields, not bad. Uh, again, a uh, common theme here, I'm the gas man in St. Louis and in other areas of Missouri, so straightforward business. I also do some propane work. I have a propane. I also have some gas storage. But you know, I'm not saying the word oil. None of these companies uh, have anything to do with oil or the oil commodity issues that are there. And also, if the Fed raises rates um, three or four times this year, are these uh, plays going to get hurt severely or they're going to weather it? Well, there's two components to these companies on their return. There's the dividend component. Uh, and there's the fundamental business that they're in. And in this case, that's the natural gas distribution business, which we have abundant gas, consumption is going up, increased demand. So that part should override any impact that would happen from raise of rates on the dividend piece. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Skip. My pleasure. Thank you for watching The Street.